Hi, my name is Judith Logan. Um, um, I'm an artist. Um, I've been a professional artist now for the last five years and I'm now doing my second solo show in Framework Gallery in Belfast from the 18th to the 30th July. Um, and this is just a short video just to show you my painting process on one of the my latest pieces that I'm doing. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, um, this is a piece I'm working on called Far Away Fields Look Green. Um, I did a coloured pencil piece with this title quite a while ago. It's one of the first things I did when I just started painting again. Um, so I've always wanted to do a bigger piece in acrylics or oils. This is acrylic um, and I'm just going to show you how I made these clouds up here. Um, which is actually just from cut pieces of an old cushion. And I liked the, the patterns in it so I kept it. Um, I did clouds like this in a similar painting in oils a few years ago. Um, but oils, obviously they dry slower, so with acrylics they dry much faster. So I'm using Golden's Iridescent Bronze Fine Fluid Paint. And I'm adding in some of the retarder, just so that it doesn't dry on me while I'm painting um, the piece of fabric. Otherwise it, will, it won't work. This is actually um, take two because I did this before and it didn't work, which isn't a problem with acrylic if you if you put it somewhere and it doesn't work you don't like it or you've placed it just as long as you get some water on it this is why I have a spray bottle just a, a plant bottle but I use this all the time um, and you spray that quickly and get some kitchen roll and paper or whatever you can get it um, off but you have to do it quickly although with the retarder you've got a bit more time to do that so let's try it again just on some newspaper. It's a bit messy. I didn't have enough paint on it the last time, but sometimes you can have too much, but that just comes trial and error and sometimes just experience, but the consistency of your paint is also important but that should be enough because I already had a coat. So we'll see if this one works. In fact there's probably too much in this one. It's going through to the other side. But anyway, we'll try. So I'm gonna lay it down about here and this has got on it already. Put some paper over it. You can just use your hands or use the barn. And you just do this just the same way as you would if you're making a print, a wood cut or a lino cut. And I'm working on board so it's easier to, to do this than it is if you're on a, working on a canvas. I think this one has worked better, but we'll see. I'm still not 100% happy with that one. Um, let me see. It's just paler than the other ones. And I've got mark here. Rid of that. So anyway, you get the idea. I'm not sure if I'll keep that or not, but we'll see. I just put it up on the easel now so that you can see it hopefully um, a bit better. Um, I, I've worked most of this piece um, and I still have some work to do, but I've worked most of it on the floor because um, with kind of doing stenciling and, and stamping with my own stencils and, and stamps, etc. Um, it's just easier on the floor. Um, but it's always important to stand back from your work and um, put it up in the easel, get a better perspective. So um, anyway, apologies if there's a few hiccups in this video, but it is my first one. And um, I hope to get this finished today or tomorrow and get a few other ones finished for my show. 
So if you are free um, around the Belfast area, please do call into Framework. It's on the Upper Utenars Road. Um, and I'll have several pieces there. All of them will be based on English expressions. Um, so it's called More Than Words. Um, and it would be great to see you there. Thank you.